can statement is, I can identify and describe equal parts in a shape. Let's talk about that. But yeah, what does that mean? I don't know. Let's look at it. The first word I can see is that big word. Identify. What's that word? Read it to me and what does it mean? McKenna, what is that word? Identify. What does identify mean? That's right. So we're going to look at squares, rat, and we're going to make sure that they have four equal parts. That means the same. So I can identify and describe equal parts in a shape, which really means I can see or I can tell you, I can know and tell equal parts in a shape. So I'm going to give you a quick example. <sighs> Name my two shapes. Mr. Moore Wessel, what are my two shapes? Square and circle. Square and circle. We're going to practice dividing them into equal shapes. Who can come up here really quickly and divide my square into equal parts? David. Once David's done, I need someone to come up there and divide my circle in equal parts. Who can divide my circle? Me? Willie. All right, David, explain to us, what did you do to that square? Um, made two triangles. Now let's look at that square. I'm going to pretend that square is a big, giant chocolate chip cookie. I love chocolate. Okay. I'm going to say, thank you, Lily. Can I have that? All right, this is my chocolate chip cookie. I'm going to share it with David, but oh. I want this side. And David, he can have that side. What do you think, David? Would that be fair? Yeah. Why? Wait, yeah, it would be fair because they're the same size. Do they look the same size? No. Yeah. I mean, if it were, I, I look like I'm getting the better part of the deal. What do you think? Yeah. Do you want to try it again? Yeah. Okay. Now, when we're drawing this, go ahead, buddy. When we're drawing this, it's not going to be exactly straight, straight or equal or perfect, but it'll be close enough. So let's watch them. Oh, that looks better. That looks more fair now. What do you think? Yeah. Better? Okay. At teacher table, we're going to practice identifying and describing equal parts in a shape. We are... That's right. So we're working on equal parts. Okay? Yep. Equal parts. I, I so I want you to draw a square for me. Try to draw divide that that square into two equal parts. How would you draw that? Mr. Cop, check that. How many equal parts do you have? Mm, I see more than that. Well, I, I, got, I want two equal parts. Elliot, how did you do it? I cut it into half and... You cut it... Ooh, ooh, did you just hear that word he said? What did you just say? I cut it into halves. He cut it into halves. What does halves mean? Like, like, um, like... Something that is like cut in half. When it's cut in half, it's when it's cut in half, how many parts are there? Two. Two. That's right. Elliot did corner to corner. He said this big word. He said that word. Halves. Halves is the word same as half. Half means half would mean just this. That is one half of our square. Halves would mean two parts of our square. Very good, Elliot. Get a bee buck, mister. I like that. That Here's one, buddy. What else? Okay. So, Elliot did corner to corner. Is that the only way you can divide a shape into half? What else could you do, Megan? You can go straight down the middle. Like a book. What's another way? Cameron, do you have another way? Do you have another way? Okay, you could go across. So what does that word equal mean? We've learned halves from Ellie, but Mr. Cop, what does equal mean? It is the same. That means both parts are the same size. I want you to try to divide your shape now into four equal parts. Okay, so Georgia made hers go this way. Like a window. Like a window, Elliot. What if I did mine like this? And you tell me, you tell me if this would be equal parts. 
No. What's wrong with that, Cameron? Cameron, what's wrong with that? They both don't have the same equal parts. They both don't have the same equal parts. Would it be fair if I said, okay, Nicholas can have that piece of pizza, yes. Silas can have that, yeah. Georgia can have that, and Number Megan one. can have that? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Nicholas and Megan might like it, right? Yeah. Would it be, would would it be fair to Georgia and part. Silas? I actually can't. I know, but it, that wouldn't be fair. So, you want to make sure your equal parts have the same amount. Way. There are more ways to divide your shape. I know. Try it now. I see two ways. You can continue to draw more to see. I see one, two, three, four, five, six. I want four equal parts. What'd you do, Mr. Cop? I did diagonal. You did diagonal. So, Mr. Cop went from corner to corner. Like What's that X, called? Like an X in the middle. Do you know what that's called? Elliot told us when you have two parts, that's called halves. What's it called when you have four parts? Do you know? Do you know what that's called? Fourths. One, two, three, four. When you have four equal parts, that's called fourths. I seen this on I want you guys on your boards to draw two squares, one with equal parts, one without equal parts, and your partner is going to identify them. You need to be careful. Your partner is going to identify them. All right, look at your partner and see if you can identify the equal parts girls. The directions were to draw two squares, one with equal parts and one without equal parts. Why is that not equal? Because that's only rectangle. That's a big square. Okay. That's equal because there's two rectangles.